Finally. Although, yeah, I can see a problem now. Although, not as much as I thought, because now you have the gold item. All that remains for you to do is repeat what you did, except this time... You get yourself into position. So that you ride the cube. Yes or no? The timing needs to be pinpoint accurate, but... Can't really be helped. I think I know what you need to do now. And... you did it. Room of intellectual torment. Oh, this one. Okay. Ah, right. Yeah, that's a problem. And I suspect that the solution involves something... under. Ah. You're certainly getting closer to what you need. Although, not quite there yet. Yeah, as you can see, it's just above where it needs to bounce on... <coughs> Sorry. Bounce into the wall. Yeah, it could do... <coughs> Sorry. It could do with a slight modification. How about doing something under instead? So that, when it rises, it bounces off. Oh, you're getting it now, aren't you? Let's see what this opens up. Ah, it controls the oil. Yeah, I'm thinking... Ah, there's one of the items. Hmm, what about the other two? Uh, 
uh, Dr. Gross. It might be worth looking around for it. Ah. One of them is up there. Right, how about you jump and use the updraft to get you higher? I'm surprised that worked. It would appear that the other two items are on the other side. Requiring an oiled cube to be burned and shot out. Yeah, you're going to need to use both spaces below to have cubes to both set it up so that you can do that. And also to make sure that it isn't burning too soon. Might be best to stand by with that oiled cube. Yeah. I'm thinking you need to remove the extrusion and then replace it with Bouncy. You get the idea. Let's see what we have on the other side, now that you can get to it. Well, besides a magnetic field and a pressure plate that's hmm, easily found, but not so easily acquired. Let's see, with the first one, I'm thinking it involves riding a cube. It doesn't have to be oiled. So that you have some more height and f forward distance to get to that silver item. As for the gold item, I'm thinking it involves releasing an oiled cube as the magnetic field is moving. see a problem now. How to oil it. Yeah. 
the uh, here's an idea of remove the cubes that you don't need and You can see if you can get that gold item. <coughs> Sorry. And you made a mess of it. Oh, you want to get the silver item first. Didn't know you were that OCD. Okay, probably not, but it just seems that way, okay. Okay, everything is set up. Let's see if... Ah. You were successful. Yeah, I think I may have uh, mentioned how you could get that one. Once it's oiled, I believe I've already mentioned what you need to be doing. And it's not that. Much better. Ah, good. Now you just need to get it over to where it's needed. Okay. Let's try that again without the oiled cube moving around.
I'm actually surprised that worked the first time. Okay. Now you have all the items. Let's get back to the terminal. Specifically... Hmm. I suspect that it will <coughs> Sorry. That it will involve a magnetic field and a huge updraft. So that's one cube. To make it so that it moves here. And then back. And then another cube to ride. Yeah. Dr. Cross, I think you can tell I'm growing just a little bit impatient. And, hmm, yes, this could be a problem. This might need a modification, and you've just found out what you need to do. Hmm, how about you do the top one for the magnetic field moving one, and the bottom one for getting across. Yeah, good work, Dr. Cross. There's another terminal outside that you can activate, now that you have enough points. Right. Let's see what you can do next. Well, it's all you can do here. Not as if you have much of a choice in the matter. Not that one. Let's see. I think there was a 40. Ah, there you are. Okay. What do we have here? Yeah, I don't think that's going to be much use. Okay. It looks like if you want to rotate it more in a specific direction, you need to bouncy, rotate it one way, and then stop and rotate it again. Well, at least it's in position. Okay. And if you want it to not come off, when a green cube appears, it needs to be a red extrusion and up first. Well, 
although it's a little unclear as to what each does. I mean, each of the nodes. Okay. There's oil, but no fire. Now that is irritating. I suspect what the other node for the laser does, but... You might want to test it out, just to be sure. that. Not very useful as, well, <sighs> there's no fire. Hmm. I suspect that... You'll need to activate at least one more turn before this is solvable. You were able to figure out how to deal with one because all the elements were in place. Here, they're not. Hmm, no, I don't think it's quite high enough for it to work this way, but... You're welcome to try, Dr. Cross. Please remember to... Solve one of the rooms when you're done, as those points won't collect themselves. Hmm, no, I don't think this will work. Definitely not high enough. <sighs> well, nothing more you can do here. Um, Dr. Cross... I do remember there are other things to do. I mean, this isn't exactly a theme park, but there's one basic rule that does apply. Specifically, there are always things to do here. Although, one difference is that, well, there are no long lines to worry about. Then again, there aren't any people here besides you. Oh, as for me, I'm not physically here, so that's not applicable in my case, and Oh no, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, um... I'm not sure what... From what I can tell, the bottom laser is powering the oil generator. 
and as you just demonstrated the top laser controls the conveyor and I suspect that in order to solve this it involves moving those cubes in such a way that it makes the oiled cube move back to the laser where it can be moved to or rather not towards the wall that needs burning. That's the theory, but in practice it's a bit different and hmm I think I saw something up there. Might be worth investigating before well you get on with the main task. You've at least got that one. As for the other two... Might want to look around. I mean, wasn't there an alcove... in between those two supporting... Yes, over there above the oil dispenser. <sighs> this is going to be a challenge, isn't it? Getting up there. But that's not even considering the... <sighs> gold item. Which is probably on the other side. 